I mean, we're, we're concerned about kids not only learning tennis, but we want kids to be safe playing tennis. So, you know, falling down, unfortunately, when you're eight or nine, you're not, sometimes you fall. This is a court to fall on. Um, you're going to get right back up, not be injured, and start playing. And we definitely want surfaces, and we want to be with folks that are providing surfaces that are safe for kids. And uh, the power game, which is my personal favorite, is a great court for kids to play tennis on. Steve Swanson is the director of the Biomechanics Lab at the Orthopedic Specialty Hospital, also known as Tosh, in Salt Lake City, Utah. He is also the Chief Science and Technology Officer of the Athletic Republic. Steve and his staff recently conducted testing on Sport Court's Power Game Modular Athletic Surfacing. The purpose of this test was to look at how athletes experience shock when they land from a jump on either a bare force platform, which is very similar to a concrete surface, or onto the power game surface. We use several pieces of equipment. One, tiny sensors called accelerometers, which measure the shock that the body experiences. We put those on the leg and on the head to get an idea how that shock was transmitted through the body. And we also looked at how the athletes were moving in three dimensions, so we looked at precisely their, their motions and also the forces that they experienced at their feet. In any sort of activity, running, jumping, we're trying to protect our brain. So we're gonna to adapt to the surface and try and minimize the shock that reaches our head. So what happens is if it's a harder surface or one that we have difficulty um, absorbing the shock, what happens is the loads to the joints, the muscles, the tendons in our lower body and trunk take a little bit more load. Sometimes if there's a lot of exposure to those hard impacts, it may be associated with overuse injuries like a shin splint or uh, muscle soreness, things, things like that. Basically what we found was that the power game significantly reduced the amount of shock that was absorbed by the body during landing from a jump. Because power game was able to reduce the shock that the body had to attenuate, you know, your kids, yourself, as you land from jumps, that's going to be just less wear and tear on your body. Power game is designed with a patented two-tiered construction that absorbs shock better than any product in its class. Many power game customers, young and old, can immediately feel the benefits of power game's shock absorbing structure. Well, obviously, when you're trying to get kids into tennis, fun number one, safety, you know, go hand in hand. So, I love the surface. Um, you know, running around on it with the kids, it's great footing. Obviously, you can pick it up, you can move it around. Uh, I even used to play in a court just like this when I was in high school. You know, high school tennis. So, it's it's a great setup. You can obviously. Even if it rains, you can get back on it and play quickly. And the great thing is the kids love it. We need partners in order to make this happen. In order for tennis to change in America, we need partners. And we found a great partner in Sport Court. Uh, the 36 and the 60 foot court, we need folks that understand it, that can do it, and that can put it together. And there's not a better partner than we have than Sport Court. The number one priority going forward, if we don't have kids playing tennis, we're not going to have kids growing up playing tennis, we're not going to have adults playing tennis, we're not going to have people coming to the U.S. Open. Um, there's not going to be interest in America if we don't have kids playing tennis. So it helps to have a partner that has the same passion we have to get the game going. And we need facilities. We can't just go out in the middle of a cornfield and start saying, hey, let's, let's start playing tennis. This is 2010, 2011. We need facilities. We need courts. We have courts. Sport Court had, knows what they're doing by building the 36-foot court. It's a great court for kids to play on. This is really important for us, this relationship. And our number one initiative going forward Forward, besides having a successful U.S. Open every year, is kids tennis. Getting kids under 10 to play on the right court, the right size court, and um, this is this is a great court for them to start on. Yeah, you know the USDA really wants this to take hold and to get kids interested in tennis and to really move the needle when it comes to getting young kids playing tennis. Um, so we realize that we've got to take it to the masses, and uh, what better way than to do it than with sport court? It's a great relationship between Sport Court and the USDA because obviously there's a lot of tennis courts around the country, but sometimes getting tennis courts built is not that easy. So this is a way to take it to the people, take it to schools, take it to clubs, take it to parks, uh, put it down, and bingo, you're good to go. So uh, very versatile, very useful, and I hope you see a lot more of it.